You are listening to the Fuerte Network. Hey, bitches. bitches. Welcome back again. Welcome back to the show. Uh, show number 15. Show number 15. It's our quinceanera. 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 Uh, and again, we would like just give cards. Just give cards to or cash. To Castle Boutique. Or just make them Visa. Oh, okay. yeah. Make Visa. Visa. Yeah. Why? Spare you the trouble. Why? Just go to Walgreens. Get a, get get a card. card. Visa. And please send them to seven. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, welcome back. This is our 15th show, and we're 15th really excited. Show. We want to talk, talk about today. Do we? We do. Okay. We really I don't do. even know what we're talking about. And this will be a surprise. This is your, okay. <laughs> your test, right? Um, This is my co-host. Mm. He's the human embodiment of a headache. <laughs> Memo. Let's sit on your face. <laughs> 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 this is my co-host, Danny. Mm. If you haven't met her, mm. I'm jealous. Because you didn't have, they don't have the opportunity to have this wonderful interaction with me. I, I get it. No, I'm jealous. I'd be jealous too. I wish I never met you. Well, same C's. Mm. Any who's, uh, how are you, bitch? How you been? Good. I'm actually really good. Um, little tired. Always. Right. You just described your life. <laughs> <laughs> Memo. Life bitch, description. Always tired. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know how like you do like, like, on, like, on, like on profiles, like about like, when you're like, whether it be a dating profile, where now you give like that introductory paragraph. Mm-hmm. Tired. tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not a, my act. Just physically. Your grinder. Like, just tired. Your description or your like anything for like dating apps. Tired is the first line, <laughs> <laughs> right? They're all. What are you looking for? A nap. A nap. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody to cuddle with because a bitch needs a nap. Somebody to cuddle with. Oh, so. no, we're good. <laughs> we don't need um, <clears throat> went to the gym today, right? Yeah, got my ass kicked. Well, today was actually, I'm not going to lie, like, my, like, today was a hard day, but it was, I slacked, like, I'm not slacked off. I just didn't want to be there. Like, my attitude was very, this. yeah. Very bitchy. I was, yeah, I was kind of bitchy, like, because I was talking to Jovan about why, and, like, we were having this conversation on the way over here, and it was, it was good, it was good. I, I got it out. But it was, like, dude, like, my trainer kicked my ass on fucking, on, on Tuesday, because we did leg day on Tuesdays. And we did, we're doing leg press. Oh my God. He kicked my ass and I loved it. Like, don't get me wrong, but my legs are still sore fucking three days later. Good. And then we worked out yesterday. We did upper body. Like we did some suspensions to work on control and it was great, but I'm, I've, I don't think I've been this sore in a long fucking time. Good. Good. Cause it's, when you stop doing it, you stop getting sore yeah. and like the progress a little slows down a little bit. Uh, so I'm glad that you're getting sore again. And I'm seeing little changes here and there. Like, like my outfit yesterday. Oh, yeah, I saw your outfit. I thought it was cute. She was rocking it. I thought it was cute. I Joan liked it. was making fun of you so hard. <laughs> what did she say? He was laughing at your ass. You were laughing at my pants, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it looks like his mom picked out his clothes and it just, he got, she got the wrong size. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I was trying something new. It's you know, cute. I like very it. Very outside of my, my normal traditional plain solid color, whether it be t shirt or button up. I liked it. I was, you know, trying new things out. It, it looks cute. cute. It was cute. It, was cute. Just it just, it seemed. Maybe I just rolled him up a little too much. I like the length. He, I, I he liked didn't it, like the but length. I don't know. Like, it was fun. And then, like, I did my Joe hair. Joe just being a bitch. Yeah. She's, <laughs> look what she's wearing. And then I saw your tin, your tin hat a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Conspiracy theorists. <laughs> a bitch was, I was bored. Were, was your cousin there doing it? No. I you did, did it by yourself? Yeah. yeah, I could tell. <laughs> no like why because there's like blonde in there well no it's because i didn't bleach it enough so uh, it was i need i needed to do another bleaching you just really want to burn the fuck out of your hair don't you i did yeah <laughs> no it's not that bad right now i'm like but i think i just like okay bitch like you just got bored yeah so like mm-hmm. i did the i did the silver again right and so i like when the so i like when the sorry guys put your phone on what mute hey, boo. so unprofessional this is the last show i'm doing with you uh, please see you next week <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. um, no like i was just bored and like i did it and so when like when it washes out i like the color of the blonde yeah but even though i'm not gonna get that because it's still very yellow so mm-hmm. i'm gonna have to do another bleach you should do the beard too do i thought about it. it and you should do it yourself oh bitch <laughs> <laughs> i thought about doing that i would have liked to do the beard i think it looks I mean, cool it's try it with like the black 
eyebrows, I think that would be interesting. Because <laughs> you you wouldn't want to do the eyebrows, right? No, no. It like I, I think it's gonna be like contrasting. Yeah, I think it would, be, it would look cool. And and so I saw. I like, want to see the beard, but not the mustache. Like get that contrast. Wouldn't that be crazy? That would wanna, actually be cool. I kind of want to see just the mustache. Well, Ricky get that, Martin recently get that did. Hulk Hogan look just with yeah. the, with oh, the yeah. <laughs> and the rest of the brother. <laughs> <laughs> brother. No, my doppelganger Ricky Martin. Um, I know I'm reaching. Um, <laughs> Doppeldrooper, <laughs> more like. <laughs> Yours is Barney. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, like I like the way he bleached all his face. Okay, I saw that. It, looks it looked really weird, though. It did, like an alien or something, right? But on Friday, so there's this guy I follow on TikTok, and I've always thought he was—he's a beautiful guy. Like his dude's fucking cute. Um, and I saw him at Charlie's on Friday. And he was, and he had bleached all his facial hair and all his hair, and I'm like, well, that looks kind of cool, but it's a little too yellowy. I'm like, it mm-hmm. needed to process a little bit more. Yeah. And then I was like, mm, okay. Is oh. that why you? Is that where you got the inspiration? No, I've been wanting to do this for a minute, and so I went to go. I'm like, you know, I was sitting at home, and I'm like, I'm bored. I, I love how you were like last time. You're like, this is last time. I'm not gonna do it again. And then you did it one more time. And then you said the same thing, and then now here we are. Here we are. <laughs> no, like I, I just you know what I did like the like the like that blondish look that I ended up, that I ended up with. I do like yeah. that. I like that a lot actually. I actually almost like that more than the than the so silver. Than the silver. But I, in order for me to get that specific color, I have yeah. to do the silver. Did so you it, do lavender last time, or were you trying for lavender? No. So the the shampoo, the when you when you do the dye, it looks lavender in the mm-hmm. hair. Like when it's yeah processing, it, it looks like a bluish good. lavender. But when it washes out, it washes out to the silver. So how do you get the lavender? What do you mean? Because I've seen guys with like lavender hair. So there's a specific hair dye for lavender. Oh, okay. You so should try it. The lavender? Why not? Yeah. I was thinking about doing blue. So even people from space know you're gay. <laughs> In case there's ever The pressure. ISS is like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid bitch. I mean, you're right. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> Any Hoosiers? Enough about me. Let's talk Before about we draw, talk about our, our hot topics tonight, well, obviously we have to we have to thank our sponsor, Los Sombreros Restaurant. Yes, Los Sombreros. Thank you so much for making all this, well, making this possible, true. making our dreams come true of being little mini <laughs> pod, pod, what the fuck podcasters. <laughs> I swear, um, we're excited to be hosting our next yes. Hey Bitch Live on the thirty first of July. July. Yep. At what time? Two p.m. No, no, twelve p.m. to two. <laughs> Why do I let this bitch <laughs> announce 12 that? to 2. It's 12 to 2, bitch. 12 to 2 at uh, Los Sombreros Mesa. Uh, again, come out. Have some amazing food, drink yep. specials. We're switching it up. We're going to do something somewhat different, a lot more fun. Yeah, so it's going to be a little bit I more mean, the interactive. First, the first show was really good. Really first show fun, was excellent. But we really want to switch it up and kind of get... We want to make it more of an experience. Yes. So we're going to do, we're planning a really good show. As to, you know, doing more interactive stuff. Yep. Doing more in, more of an entertainment factor rather than just watching us do this in live like we're gonna do a little bit of this yes but we're gonna mix it up a little bit mix so it'll it be a lot up. more it'll fun. be a lot of fun a lot of laughs a lot of laughs so and please some join us should we announce that the other thing that we just confirmed what the special presentation of your wiener no that's behind in the back room no bitch oh. our performer <laughs> let's wait okay next next show we're gonna we're we, gonna we have a announce. performer a <laughs> yeah. big performer, a performer big and big name um what? <laughs> I love her. She's awesome. Yeah. We um, love her. <laughs> we do. But no, well, well, there's more more details to come. Uh hopefully you guys can come out to Los Sombreros in Mesa. It's basically on it's Alma School, right? Yeah. Alma School in Southern. It's Wait, on no, the it, no. Not Alma School. Dobson. Dobson. Dobson in Southern. Please forgive me. Dobson in Southern. Um, and it's literally on the northeast corner. Yep. So come out. The food is bomb. If the you food hit, is bomb. The food is so fucking good. Come out for drinks. Drink specials drinks. will be there. Yep. Come out for basing food and maybe a chuckle. A little with chuckle us here and there. Or at us. It's you're it really matter, laughing. As long as you're there. As long as you're laughing. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. So our first hot topic. Bitch, you said like eight. Yeah, I put a lot. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about. I'm bitch. A, I'm a, I'm a, I know what happened. This bitch had nothing to talk about. So she said hot topics. A lot. Of a lot of hot topics. <laughs> a lot of hot topics. <laughs> so the first one I want to talk about is uh, Texas Democrats. Did you read about this? I have. They're, they all fucking ditched the They're state. They're like, no, we're not going to do this because they had already done this which, like a, a month ago or two months ago. Yeah. Basically not giving the Texas Republicans the, the chance to even like pass 
voter suppression laws. Right. Right. Because they they just walked out. Yeah. And they I guess there's a, something called a quorum that they they had to fulfill like a, a like a majority to to vote on something. Right? right. So they just didn't show up and and I love it. Preventing them from moving forward and 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 voting on the on this bill. Well, well the, the quorum is for them to actually hold office at all like in order to hold the meeting yeah okay like if if we if not enough people show up there's just no meeting there's just no meeting right, right? okay so well they're all in dc right they now had, <laughs> yeah, they, they had succeeded the first time yeah and then i guess the governor governor abinett like wanted another session so he scheduled this last week another one and texas democrats are like no we're not gonna pass voter suppression laws right because you you didn't like the results of of the election so now you want to make up things to say you're like, making it harder to vote because it, it, it's like it's so stupid and it's so transparent the d democrats tend to vote more by mail tend to vote right. more on that side so it's just like they're trying to do away with it or make it harder to vote yes. so obviously so they can win like y'all yeah. need just to take your loss and come um, on but like throw the fuck up this is america we, we should want to be able to support and to like encourage voting but like i said before they understand that they're platform is not is becoming less and less popular every year every election so they're like they're desperate to put any hurdles in front of people so they don't vote because they see like if they if everybody votes if, if in the majority they're not the ones that they choose so like like I, and it all stems from like i've had conversations with people, well you know you have to show id to to get into a bar you have to show id to buy alcohol you should be a, you should have to show id to to vote my thing is like I've been voting now for a couple of presidential elections. I think I've, as far as I remember, I've had a show ID. Right. Like it's never been a thing where I don't have to show ID. So why nothing, is this such a nothing big went issue? nothing went wrong in the last election? Right. There was no widespread fraud. There was not, and that's the the only thing that they're they're going off is like my constituents are 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 concerned that something just by that just by saying that there's a concern they have enough to just justify these new laws. And here's my thing, like. All this fucking mess that Trump and his minions, girl, that's Demons. that's being nice because minions are cute, and his herd, his, his cult, his cult, his cult. Yeah, that's the perfect word, and yeah. his cult. That all all these expenses that they're, that they're costing the state, that they're costing the federal government to do an mm -hmm. audit, to do an investigation. I'm sorry, you lost. Guess what? You should have to pay for that back. Yeah. I, I, I. Oh yeah, and speaking of that, I don't think I sent it to you, Danny, but um, I just saw this. Um, yeah, I sent it to you. The last one I sent you was the there's no evidence of widespread fraud in Maricopa. So yeah, the, I saw the that. whole thing it cost us hundreds of thousands of dollars to do, right? I think we were in the millions. Yeah. And then our there was some servers that were taken to Montana somewhere mm. and they just released that there there just isn't anything coming out from this because nothing went wrong. Like nobody cheated, nobody got all these ballots, nobody and what more do you want? You took it to a Montana, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't a that a red state? The I think I think it was the software, yeah, or whatever. Like the copies of the votes, yeah, went to Montana for like some some cabin in the woods where they're like doing something to it, yeah. right? Um, and this it, nothing has come of it. So all this for nothing. And what they were planning to do is like, oh well, see, nothing came out of it. This is this is, it should have happened because now we know, like. We knew before you did this because you already did an audit before uh, by your state, by your state. Um, what's it called? The um, elections officials. They did uh, it themselves right before. So it's like it's already done. We did it. We found nothing. We, we've wasted money. You know, it's funny. After all this, there was one confirmed case of voter fraud where someone is trying to vote with the dead person. It was a Republican. It was a Republican woman. woman. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this is what happens all the time. They look for things and they just it backfires in their face because it's like a Republican did actually. But we're snowflakes, right? Exactly. Because they can't take they can't take their loss. Take we're snowflakes. We're the far too sensitive. Mm -hmm. We're the ones who can't take anything. We're the hyper uber sensitive generation. They we're, were telling us to uh, keep crying liberals, but who's crying now? Like who's been crying? Who's been crying for the last bitch, five like, six months? Y'all worse than me, and I cry at bars. You cry at everywhere, Ser everywhere. <laughs> uh, but I just, I just, <laughs> I just find it really hilarious. I can't, that. I, and I can't. it's just really embarrassing for them because it's like you spent, you made us spend all this money, and you hired a uh, audit company where the president's CEO 
was already peddling conspiracy theories. Yeah. So it's like completely one sided. And again, still and again, found so, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> um, so the second, oh, so about the Texas Democrats, um, this time they left, they left the state because they're doing it again. Right. So I, I guess they're, they have to stay there for at least a month for, for it to work. Right. But I guess Governor Abbott signed a thing or the Senate signed a thing about authorizing their arrests. The arrests of, of these, these uh, leaders. Oh, the Texas Senate. The Texas Senate. Not the, not the federal. The Texas. Senate. I mean, I think the way. Uh, but wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. I thought I was on drugs. Hold I, thought I was having a stroke when you did that. <laughs> whoa. whoa. No, hold up. Didn't the Republicans do this recently during the during the the when they were holding session for not the Green New Deal, but the other bill, the federal? Um, a federal bill? Was this the supermajority? The that thing? I think so. It was they were doing something very similar where they weren't showing up. Um, I think it was part of it was part of it was part of one of Biden's plans. Um, was it economic plan or the pandemic relief? No, it was. Uh, fuck me sideways. Well, that's what nobody wants to do. That's the problem, isn't it? <laughs> I can't. I fucking hate you. I quit. <laughs> Cut this shit. We're Cut done. it. It's done. It's, it's loose. It's canceled. It's over. <laughs> You're a bitch. Okay, well, you Moving can't, on, well, you can't think of it. <laughs> uh, we're going to revisit this once I think about this. It's okay, stupid. so the second story. Um, the first woman in the Navy... Uh, she competed to be in, in the special war- warfare training. Yep, and she passed. So she's the first woman from the Navy to do it. Congratulations Super to proud. you, lady. I wish I could tell you your name, but sh- they they hide it because yeah. of like policy and like her protection. Well, because of the level of the level of, 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 of yeah. What's it called? Uh, Confidentiality, no, but no, the, just the level of training. A word for it. Security clearance. Security, Security no. clearance. Level clearance. Clearance. Or clearance. So yeah, I mean that's awesome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love it. Yeah. Since you're a feminist, right? She I was raised you. feminist. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Not feminine, <laughs> you stupid bitch. But yeah, super proud. I'm so, I'm so glad to see this because it just gives like other girls, little girls that are watching this and, and seeing seeing her succeed in a place where just men rule and men are the most. She's, yeah. She's a real life G.I. Jane. Yeah. Remember that oh, movie? With Demi Moore. Demi Moore. I didn't. I don't think I've seen it. It's a guy. I've seen girl. like obviously it's, it's like a uh, cult classic. It's like very yeah, history it, of movies, but I've never actually seen it. It's actually a really good fucking movie. Okay, we gotta watch it. Yeah. I think we should do a list of like movies that we should know. <laughs> that one is a good one. Like okay. GI Jane is fucking good. Like I was never really a big huge Demi Moore fan until I saw um, GI Jane. GI Jane. She fucking killed it. What else was she on? She did that stripper movie. What was it What's called? That called. Memo's crazy life. The one with J-Lo? No. No, that's Hustlers. That's she did one where she played a hustler. Where she, she played, played a, stripper. a stripper. Yeah, I remember that. Um, she played a stripper. She was fucking gorgeous in that. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's stunning herself. Yeah. I remember the movie that she did with um with uh with um what the fuck is his name? Bruce Her Willis? husband. Yeah, Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis. Where she kills him. Enough. I saw the roast of Bruce Willis where she killed him on stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see that? I love those roasts. I love those roasts. Those are fucking hilarious. Yeah, they are. Strip tease. Strip tease, yeah. yeah. Very good. Um, the next one, Versace. Have you, did you read about the Versace yeah, the mansion? Two guys that were found so apparently these two guys went into or stayed at the at the I guess it's like a boutique hotel now. Yeah. And they were found dead, two of them, in a parent uh murder suicide no not murder suicide the when they both decided to, su- to commit suicide the double suicide double suicide so and it was right the day before the anniversary of, of gianni, gianni oh. versace's death so i'm like it has to be connected right it has to be why would they decide to be there the night before they were probably just his big death fans or... that's what i'm saying like yeah. that they, they, if it was a suicide those are planned so everybody heard it <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Go. <laughs> the chair. It's chair's fine. <laughs> the it just it just seems like because it's there yeah. specifically. I get that. on the night before. Yeah. Like it just makes sense. It makes so sense. So it's crazy that they would do that. I think. Why would? Um, my my thing is why would they do? I mean, I understand suicide ideation, 
But are they that big of fans to? But you know, bitches. Like some people be wanting their fifteen minutes of fame, and they're gonna be the ones. We, they died in the Versace house. Hmm. Get the fuck over it. Next. You don't seem very empathetic about suicide. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm very empathetic. Uh huh. For multiple, for one main reason. Mm-hmm. I just, to me, it's just like I don't like. I'm. I don't know. I'm. I'm in a mood right now, apparently. But no, like for me, it's just like like I get like it sucks that you that you committed suicide. Like, like I, what led you to this? Yeah. But I don't think, I, and I'm not. I, I when I say that that was the reason, I'm I'm being very extremely facetious. Oh, yeah. Please believe I'm not. We I don't, don't I have no idea. <laughs> Obviously, we don't know. Maybe they were big fans. Maybe I don't know. It just it, it is it is it merely coincidental? I agree with you. I don't think it is. I don't think I think it there's is. a lot more to it than we know. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that with as time passes. I'm sure some of these details will emerge, you know, because mm-hmm. they're still so investigating. Oh, yeah, it just, probably- I guess the initial uh, scope of it or the view of it was like they killed themselves. So big news there. Yeah. Um, the next one, <laughs> um, Hit me. there was a Georgia couple <laughs> who found snakes under their bed. With 17 babies. With I heard 17 about 17 babies. Burn the house down. Burn it all. Burn it. It's done. I'm over. Burn it. <laughs> Just like Jovan, if there was a spider in the house, burn it. The insurance will cover it. <laughs> Ooh, they don't cover arson, sweetie. Um, <laughs> but no, but I agree. Like that. I hate, hate snakes. It's it, it's crazy because like I hate them too. Yeah. I, I, I For the longest time I had this fear. So we used to live in Tolleson when Tolleson was, we moved just to Tolleson. All farms. When it was just starting. So there was still a lot of farms out there. For some reason, one of my biggest fears was when you had farms on both sides was driving my windows down. Because what if a snake jumps into my truck? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have a weirder one. I, I always had the fear of like a snake going up the toilet and biting my asshole. <laughs> We're not in Australia. And I'm no going to say that, but that's actually... <laughs> not even snakes yeah, want that. that. Uh, I, heard it, plausible. I, I heard not it Not even once. a snake would want to come close to that it sphincter. Once, that it, there's that, always that thought that like, there's a snake in the toilet. <laughs> You're all doing checks. <laughs> Flush <time. laughs> Lift in the seat. Like, oh, okay, I can't. Like, okay. So remember the little house that I moved into? Yes. Um, so that house supposedly had snakes up until I moved into it. There was a lot of like holes in the found like in the foundation. Yeah. It was a rental. And there was a lot of like, so they came out, and I don't know if you ever noticed that there was like foam sticking out in some places. Yes. Because they had that's what a terrible they're... job. Terrible job. Management company was terrible. So they never like cleaned it up. Yeah. They just put foam in. Well, they had snakes there. And so when I, got, I remember cleaning it out, there was like stuff all over the floor in the garage to um to like prove that 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 basically is like a repellent for snakes. Yeah. Oh, bitch. Like, and I found skin. You know how oh, they shed their they skin? Shed skin? Well, I found the skin of a snake in the garage. And I was like, uh, let a if I swear, if I find a fucking snake in this house, this lease is being broken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking done. 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 There should be a reason, like in the contract. If there's a snake, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> can we put? Can we we should have. Can yeah. we write that in? Because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not the only snake. Never mind. We're not going to go there. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a trouser snake. Huh? Uh, a trouser snake. Mm-hmm. Or snakes in your boots. <laughs> Kinky boots. <laughs> so snakes. I mean, would you rather have spiders or snakes? You had to choose one. You had to have one. What kind of spiders? No. Yeah. Uh, cause you coming at me with like black widows, like no, I'll take my no, chance with snakes. Black widows, but just like the daddy again, long legs. No, those are innocent. I'm talking about well, like just a, are, that's, that's... like an unknown spider, like a bigger one, like no. Oh, speaking of disgusting, uh, oh, I like I just thinking about it. And I, I, right, first oh. of all, no one said disgusting. Right? Spiders are cool, like tarantulas. You I'm ever held a tarantula? No. Have you ever seen a desert crab spider? Yeah. Oh Dude, yeah. It looks like a crab. Yeah. Oh my god. Hence so, the name, man. <laughs> right. No, but shut the fuck up. No. Remember when I was living with Eric? Who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. I love her. <laughs> hey girl. Yes. No. So remember I so I remember one night, that's when I was working at Brown. And I was oh, running at Brown. UPS. I was running at UPS and I was on my way into work. It was like two o'clock in the morning. I walk out the house and there's literally one like this fucking big <gasps> on the side. And I had to walk by it. I'm like, oh my God, please don't. The side of what? Me. Like on the wall, like because remember, like when you went at like, work, no, at Eric's house. Oh, so like remember, like you would like to go to the door. There's like a huge, small little, like like very like like a like a like a, a five by five porch. Yeah. So that it was it was literally on the side wall right here, <sighs> bitch. I was I was I literally like 
I'm like peeling against the wall on the opposite <laughs> side like this way. It was fucking gross. Then I, I remember grabbing something. I forget what I grabbed. And I just like fucking smacked it. And I Chaka? smashed it. I, was, I, I needed more. The oh. shit was fucking huge. I needed more. I needed something to cause damage. Yeah. I think, I don't know. I forget what I grabbed. Did it run away? Or did you get it? I, I hit it. Ugh. And it just dropped. And I remember I came back from work after after the second job that day. And I was still there. It was fucking gross. It was fucking. <laughs> just, oh. It reminds me of all those uh, TikToks where like there's a cockroach on the wall. And then they're filming it. And then it starts flying and they start oh. screaming. <laughs> I was hoping that shit did not jump. And then I'm over here screaming. Like, I'm, and like, I'm over here like, like, like literally backed up against this wall on this side, right? As I'm walking out. I'm like, oh my God, can you imagine if there was one like on the wall behind me and I didn't even notice yeah. it? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I was thinking. It was double. So I fucking, a big bitch like me booked it out Boom. of that five by five. I, I, I think I went like, because remember it was like four or five steps to go yeah. up to the door. Uh-huh. I think I jumped. <laughs> I, I think or I for did. you, just like a step up. What is oh, that? that's it? No. That's not That's not it. Is that it? Spider? No, it's a it, look out. It, it's a fucking crab spider. That's um, what Google told me. That's Google what Google lied. said. <laughs> no, these things are fucking gross. Anyways, it was that big. Our fears, right. <laughs> like Danny's <laughs> asshole, like that big. How dare you? I told that in confidence. <laughs> <laughs> you know better now. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, well, so no. Um, the other thing I was gonna say is that there's actually a picture back when you know we used to develop film with mm-hmm. the cameras. When I was in middle school, my mom still has it as her house. Uh, middle school, me and a friend of mine and our science teacher actually had a snake in the classroom. So we have like a seven foot snake like wrapped around us. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Ugh. Ugh. I had a rat once, a little, a little mouse. It was taken home from a science class. It died. I had a ferret once. Oh, did you? My padrinos gave me a ferret. Did for... you take out the glands, the sticky gland? Oh, bitch. I was like four. I don't know. Oh. It was a long time ago. It was in the 80s. So. Did you eat it? Gross. No. <laughs> I got it. So like my, I remember back then my grandma had like two little like playhouses in the backyard for my sister and my tia because uh-huh. they're close in age. And so I dropped it and what it went under. It? Under what? Like one of the casitas because they weren't <gasps> flat on the floor. So it went under. And I was like, fuck, how am I going to get out? And it's literally just in there with this red eyes, bug eyes just looking Ooh. at me like, bitch, come get me. I'm like, I'm not going under there. I left it. And a cat got to it. <gasps> Oof. Memo, you a murder. Cat got to it. I didn't murder it. He committed suicide. Bitch wanted to hide from me, bitch. Bye. <laughs> Poor thing. I know. You know You're me. So I, me and, you know me and animals. Yeah, you and animals don't mix. That's why I'm single. <laughs> we'll leave it there. Uh, next one. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner versus um, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. I'm about to say about that. Oh, you should. So um, this uh, crazy, crazy MTG. Um, basically said GOP support and consultants working to elect Jenner for governor in California are playing the left stupid identity politics game, a game that sells out our faith, family, and freedoms. Stop promoting this man in a dress and never Trumper. California patriots work too hard and deserve better. Sorry. I open the floor to you, (laughs) (laughs) ma'am. First of all, let me be very clear about this. I am not a fan of Caitlyn Jenner. I am not a fan of Caitlyn Jenner. I repeat. <laughs> I repeat. I am not a fan. It bears repeating. Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> Who was that? Bianca Del Rio. It bears repeating. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Kate. Well, I'm not a fan of Caitlyn Jenner. I hope we're clear. But. But. And I say this with love, respect, and in the spirit of true sisterhood. To a- AGT? What's her name? That's America's MG- Got Talent. MG- <laughs> <laughs> MGT, MGK, whatever, MG- bitch. MTG. You're yeah. a fucking cunt. And here's why. First and foremost, I don't give a fuck about her politics. First of all, I mean, I do give a fuck about her politics. Mm-hmm. But you do not do that to somebody. You do not downgrade or Mis- try to misgender. ridicule somebody who is transgender. They have been through enough for your stupid, ignorant ass to sit there and try to make stupid, bigoted comments like that. Mm-hmm. First of all. Secondly, you talk about your faith. I don't give a fuck about your faith. I don't give a fuck if you're Christian, if you're fake Christian. I don't give a fuck what that little book tells you. I got that from that, that video, and it's so true. I don't give a fuck. You are free to practice your religion any way you fucking want. You're allowed to. 
that was the basis on why this country was founded. And also because of that, because of the freedom of religion, you, I have every right to not have to listen to your stupid ass. I have every right to be able to practice any faith that I want to without having you try to put, put your beliefs on me. I don't give a fuck if you're Christian. Cause sweetie, you're not. You are fake mm-hmm. Christian at best. And, 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 and like you say, we're playing over here playing identity politics. Sweetie, you're playing fake religion politics because a true fucking Christian loves unconditionally and will never put anybody down. Let me teach you your own history, twat. Jesus hung out with the whores and the thieves. He was crucified next to, th- next to two criminals. So do not sit there and think that you're better than anybody. You ain't shit, bitch. And I will fucking say this to your face. And I know you're not even watching. No, will this ever get to you? But again, let me be very, very clear. I do not like Caitlyn Jenner. I do not support her politics, but you do not fucking do that to a, per- to a trans person, regardless of whether they're Republican or not, or share my beliefs or not. I do not have to, we do not have to agree on everything, but you're in my community. You are part of the LGBT community and I will support you and have your back wholeheartedly against my better judgment because I don't like you, but I will not, I will not stand for bullshit like that for homophobia and transphobia. Mm-hmm. So M- what's her name? Preach. MG- MGT. Marjorie Taylor Green. That MTG bitch, have a seat, have several. Cause you're about to fucking learn. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. And I'm done. She is I'm, feisty today. I'm, bitch, I, 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 I literally want to cry right now. <laughs> Out of anger. But like, it was when I saw that, mm-hmm. I was in the car and my blood was boiling. <laughs> I have transgender friends. Yes. And you don't have, you don't, you don't, you don't get the chance. You don't get the mm-hmm. right to, 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 to call them that. Yeah. And this bitch has, has come for, trans kids anybody trans she's transphobic she has nothing to do there she has she, all her duties were taken away they were stripped you want nothing she's bored she has nothing to do so she has to cause some commotion you want to talk man in a dress sweetie look in the fucking mirror Ooh. have you seen have you you need to you, you need a gay friend in your life <laughs> those split ends that terrible fucking makeup that bleach that box bleach bitch oh, you know she, ha- she has no gay get friends. the fuck out of here you need a gay friend and if a gay uh hairstylist did her hair you know he would fuck her up <laughs> you will be talked about at the next meeting <laughs> at the gay mafia meeting <laughs> at, at, at the next council of gay mia oh I can't. I can't. So, I mean. Sorry. This, I'm sorry. I don't mean. I'm sorry. It's because I have mixed emotions about it, too. Like, oh, fuck. Again, I'm being very We clear. talked about it last time. Like, if you come for the community, even though we don't fucking like her, she's still part of our community. Way more than MTG would, could ever be, right? So, it's like, I there's a little part of me that's like, hey, they're like coming out. You were waiting for this. I was waiting for it. It just, if it, it doesn't feel good, but it it it, it was entertaining entertaining to me because obviously they're both on the on the republican side they're kind of wanting to destroy each other but it was like it it, it hurt me not personally but like it hurt to hear her refer to caitlin like that like it's uh, it's 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 bullshit it <laughs> if you want to sit there you sit there and you preach that you want clean politics Oh. Practice what you fucking preach. Oh, she, Start. She hasn't started. <laughs> She's never done that. Play. You want clean mm-hmm. politics? Do them your damn self. You mm-hmm. lead by example. And then I also heard that Caitlyn has kind of like stopped her campaign to go film in Australia for Big Brother Australia Celebrity Edition. I don't know if it's true. It could be a rumor, but I've said I've seen several stories today and yesterday about her in Australia. Okay. Caitlin, <laughs> sweetie, <laughs> darling, get it together. Get it together. Choose Either a path, you, honey. <laughs> do you want to be a celebrity still, or are you trying to run the state of California, the seventh largest economy in the fucking world? Like, yeah. sweetie, get it together. Stick to Big Brother. I mean, you're terrible think- at both. Your show was canceled after what, season one? Two? I think Th- she went to two, but it was canceled. Season two, but it was yeah. canceled nonetheless. Canceled. You're not a Kardashian. They're never, not Kardashians. Never will be. <laughs> you never will be. Sweetie, hang it up. Like, you have money. 
you just you killed somebody little... and got off. Uh huh. Do me yeah. a favor. Live your life on your hill. Live your life like you know the girl that you decided to be with. I don't know what the fuck her name I is. Or does it matter? Uh, just girl, have a seat <laughs> in your own place on the beach and go away. Go away. Uh, and the last one. Next. Um, apparently, the moon wobbles, y'all. The moon is wobbling. wobbling <laughs> There's a wobble wobbling. in the moon that's affecting the tides. So, so and happen. up on top of that, like uh, climate change. That's where you see those floods in Germany. Like, have you seen the floods in New York? I oh yeah, I saw the subway uh, videos of and like people are still fucking going yeah, down the subway. You you can't fuck with New Yorkers. Like it doesn't matter what. I love happening. your resolve and I love your determination. <laughs> <laughs> there are there are bitches getting home. <laughs> <laughs> I can't miss this train. I can't, I can't miss, miss this train. train. My novella starts in an hour. I gotta be on the next one. Um, but like, I love it. I can't. Like, I'm like, I'm like, first of all, that water is nasty. Mm -hmm. It's dark. dark. Ain't nobody oh. trying to do that. Like, like the subway rat taking the pizza. Okay. Even the fucking rats are like, fuck it. I'm going home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like it was funny because like. Like you guys, you guys remember my phobia. Like when we travel, I have to be the yeah. first one to shower. I can't even get into a wet fucking shower. Like I can't. Mm -hmm. How you would not catch me? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. The answer is no, no. <laughs> so I just where the what times are we living in? <laughs> where the moon is fucking us up. The moon is having a fucking bitch. The moon is right like now. fuck y'all. You fucked it up. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> but it was it was uh huh. Retrogate. The, retro the moon is gay. She pissed. <laughs> she mad. Girl. You're fucking with her mo Mother Earth? Fucking, fucking with Mother Earth. That's her sister. Mother Moon and Mother Earth. They're sisters. Uh, so ahead. anyways, um, the topic of the day. What is that? <laughs> We're talking about gossip. Oh, yeah. AKA, in the gay world, gay tea. No tea, talking no shame. the tea, right? And then AKA, in our culture, chisme. El chisme. El chisme, right? So... I wanted to bring it up because I've just noticed recently <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of like even on even on uh, on like social media, just like behind the scenes, um, cheese me. And in my family recently, something happened where somebody got pregnant, they got married, and. All the family was talking about this person being pregnant. So and the only person? reason that they're getting married is because this girl got pregnant. Do I know this person? No, you don't. Okay. So I, I I was just sitting back and, and like watching it. And I was like, why do we do this? Is it just a bad characteristic of somebody? Or is that human nature? Because I feel like it could be human nature to, to it's gossip. It's human nature. It's human nature to gossip. I, I, I look at it. And like men are worse than women. Do you think? Yeah. Fuck Gay yeah. men or just regular? Men in general. Like, so there's a, it's funny you bring that up because there's a TikTok challenge where the wife is on the phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she'll be like, no, bitch. Are you, fuck, are you, are the cops there? And the husband's like, hey, who is it? Who is it? What happened? What happened? <laughs> Put on speaker. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is a motherfucker. Like, it's true. But that I could also be worse. because they were mostly his, uh, a lot of them I noticed were Hispanic. I, but see, like, we grew up, I think we grew up more with it. It's because, like, I, I think, like, so, like, I remember, like, growing up, like, I didn't grow up in Mexico, but I spent a lot of time in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And so, where we lived, where, where my family lived in Culiacan, uh, my Nina Gloria used to have a house on the corner. And so, the rest of the family had houses across the street, down the street, and around. Like, we knew everybody mm -hmm. there, right? And me acuerdo, like, at, at a certain time... Especially during Christmas, because we would go every Christmas. At a certain time, todas se reunían ahí en la casa menina, que estaba en la esquina. El cafecito, pan dulce. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Era yeah. Era la tole, llegaban, y luego, Manu, uh, my brother's Manuel, right? The men were outside, the women were inside. No, bitch, everybody was outside <laughs> here. Because <laughs> it's Culiacán, it's hot as fuck. Even in December. Estábamos todos sentados ahí en la esquina. Había fogata. Like, it was so, it was, you know, it was, it was, it was a, a scene from a fucking movie. Because mm -hmm. the way everybody was hanging out. But luego, I, I remember my mom, Manuel, ve trae tacos, ve trae, vayan a Barrancos y a traer tacos. Like, if you're from Culiacán, you know, you know Barrancos. Um, and I remember, like, I remember, like, I used to have more freedom in Culiacán than I did here. Like, if you were in Culiacán, like, oh, están, están oh the players. kids run off on the street yeah. to play the we're fields. Playing, yeah. I remember playing La Cebollita. I don't know if you know that game. No, I don't. So, like, somebody hugs a tree. Okay. And then the next person gets behind them and hugs them, and then you do a chain. Uh -huh. And then everybody's just pulling. 
first one try to, to pull you off. Oh, okay. Yeah, first one to break that chain gets bamba. Do you know what bamba is? When you get hit? Yeah, when you start getting hit on the head. Okay. By everybody else, I'm bamba. Bamba por mamon is what we used to call it. <laughs> um, <laughs> bamba por mamon, and everybody came in. Um, anyway, Your first gay bashing. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I never let go. I'm not holding on to this. <laughs> this fucking chain. I was like, this guy's cute. I'm holding on to him. Um, but like, but todas las mujeres ahí en esquina y los esposos, mm -hmm. even though they were like in a different circle. Pero bien atentos a lo que están hablando acá. O sea, yes. estaban en cuanto decían algo where they could fucking segue into the conversation. En serio, oye, no, pues ahorita los acabo. Like, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> that's a good thing. I got to learn that. Like, it was, it's always been that way. I remember yeah. like, en la esquina, mi nina, like, that was, that was, that was the thing. And I, 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 I bring it up because I saw it on TikTok too. Like, a lot of videos of Hispanic, yeah. like, talking about, there's one specific where the mom is like, sí, ajá, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, he was estaba sin drogas. Oh yeah, he was he's drunk right there, like over the phone. And also the ones where like they're at the quinceañera or a wedding, yeah, and they're talking mad shit no. about the arrangements, the bride, <laughs> the quinceañera, and that's so true. <laughs> The so food, everything. Yeah. Right. Oh, <laughs> At that point, I wouldn't call that cheese mal, call that criticones, but not like that's cheese a little cheese because you're doing it behind their back. It's yeah. a Ah, I see it as cheese man because but, but it is cheese man because the next day cuando se junten todos okay no, well that's where it becomes shit. cheese man because you're talking about it outside but but, but they'll talk but see like like they'll talk about it at the actual event at the event but only siguiente. to each other like close yeah close. Luego el siguiente día ay comadre te acuerdas pinche los centros de mesa que feo esa noche <laughs> I know. Y según que and, they, tanto, and then she says, I'll prove it to you. Go get the one we Mira, stole. Ve y tráelo. Lo trajimos una noche para que lo vea lo feo que están. Te lo puse en tu cuarto, acuérdate. Están en, están en el mostrador. Well, what they do is they send the kids to get it. Yeah. To grab the centerpiece and put it in the car. Yeah. I, Some of them, I think somebody stole a centerpiece from, from, um, from my wedding that was not supposed to be taken. Oh, really? <laughs> it, was, it was the hall's centerpiece and they took it and they're like, yeah. That was a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> one of your guests took our centerpiece and we're like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wasn't one of, one of your guests trying to take the centerpiece? Eric from your... <laughs> was trying to take my centerpiece from my table. <laughs> from he, your sweetheart he table? He walks up to me. He's like, congratulations. I'm like, girl, put that bag. That's mine. And he's like, oh. <laughs> <That's a bag. laughs> I wanted to take the wood that you guys put down the middle. Those, Yeah. Well, there were ours, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm, but I knew that. Yeah, I transported them there. Oh, you did? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I was the, yeah. Remember, I did that, and yeah. I went to go pick up all the centerpieces with yes. the, with Aliana. <laughs> yeah, bitch. I I, should, I was doing more work than I your mean, fucking you best man and your maid of honor, <laughs> bitch. Anyways, but uh, it, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a fucking thing. Like even to. Do even, you think that it, in culture it like kind of unites people or, or like brings people together? Because I, you literally had a whole get together. It, it became a get together around talking and around mm -hmm. basically she's me though well it, it, like i think with us it was a thing because like cuando mi familia iba a, oh sorry when my family would go to culiacan mm -hmm. it was a it was there was one of the few times where everybody on both sides of the border would get together mm -hmm. porque iba mucha familia aquí de phoenix iba familia de, de naco iba familia de, de agua prieta or whatever wherever they were from se juntaban en culiacan and it was a it, por fin estaban todos juntos right y english Oh yeah, uh, they would they would all get together because you know they they they, they were coming from all over the, Mexico and all mm -hmm. over you know the in, in all over Phoenix and Arizona and California, so I think that was one of the few times where everybody would get together so they'd catch mm -hmm. each other up. Right, you know. But what that's I mean? what I'm saying. Like, yeah, there's bonding and like talking shit. And they talk. How to do each we other bond, bitch? How it? do me and you bond? Yeah, no <laughs> shit. And it's funny because there's one that I think his name is Jonathan. Jonathan. Pac Jonathan. Jonathan. He's the one that does the shirt. He se lo pone. Yeah. And he's so cute. Like, he's such a little cutie. Yeah. Like, um, but he, there's one where he goes, Si, sí, comadre, acuérdese, si. Sí. Sí, like, comadre, he, it was funny. He goes, Si, sí, sí, comadre, <laughs> y acuérdese. Que, y te, también acuérdese que usted la dejaron y la dejaron por otro. <laughs> and then uh, and she's all, <laughs> like, I was like, she right. She right. <laughs> so I just, I just thought it was interesting in, in, in our culture. Yeah. And I'm sure it's in every culture. Absolutely. Every culture. Yeah. People talk shit about, and, especially and, you know, family, just because. I don't know. Is, is that? I mean, obviously, it's wrong. Right. It's a wrong thing to do, right? Yeah. Talk behind people's back, but I feel like it's just so ingrained in, in our culture that it's like expected. But you know what it is? I you know I think it's it stems from I think I I think for uh, not everybody because some people just do it because they're evil. True. I'm not depending one. on what they say. Right, and yeah. how they go about it, right? But um, I think it becomes like people get just so. I, I think like for example, and I speak for my culture because that's what I know. Um. Women were so used to, it started, I think it started with women. 
and they were so used to being housewives and you were so it, it started I, I think it started off where you're so used to being a housewife so todas las mujeres cuando todos los maridos so it's like, like a like a board, board housewife kind of thing yeah so like girl let's get together oh you know el marido de que mira se fue tarde llegó tarde noche con quien andaba like they would share the news de la vecindad yeah ¿Sí me entiendes yeah and so I think that's where it started from mm -hmm. and then llegaron los hombres oye no pues estuve hablando well con the la wives would tell them that yeah. she's been too <laughs> estuve llegando a la paquita y me dijo que la cabrona que él llegó tarde. like that's how, it, that's how it goes and I think that's where it comes I think that's kind of where it comes from you know Dan, what I mean did you gossip with your wife Here's the thing. I'm one of those guys that will listen and know so much more, but I, I like, I won't spread it. Like you just listen to her. Just I listen <laughs> and and yeah, I'm like in my head, like I make my own mental notes that this with this, this person, this, this person's not cheating on who, whatever, blah blah. blah. And then uh, when whenever we're like in get-togethers or like among friends or whatever, like I have to look that person in the eye, like yeah, I know. I know what you, I know what you do, <laughs> <laughs> and 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 it's just like for me, it's sort of a information is power sort of thing. Yeah. And so like when you get something, you have the responsibility to like you know not spread it, not spread, not do anything like that. But then again, you know, bitch, so fuck up to. and <laughs> <laughs> fuck with me. I have a lot of information on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's it's so like. It, it, I, used, I, I, I was known for a while for being the big mouth. Oh, yeah. Mike, I was known for a while being the big mouth. Because I, like, I would tell my mom everything because me and my mom were, were like mm -hmm. that. And then as I grew older, I matured. I'm like, okay, there's certain things that I can share with my mom. And there's certain things that I can't. Because, you know, I can't incriminate certain people. Right. <laughs> or self-incriminate. Or self-incriminate. <laughs> mainly mainly self-incriminate. <laughs> but, like, but then, like, you always know who the, che who the real cheese most is in the family. No, I know. No le vayas a decir a tal y tal porque yeah. ya sabes, es bien comadre. Yep. Es bien comadre y va y todo lo dice. And you know who that is you in your family. Is. You know what I mean? Because we have that joke like among friends or like people we know where they're like, oh, you told this person? Oh, everybody knows now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Am I that person? No, I don't think so. Oh, no. Okay. no. No. Not like uh, top of my head. Like I would think, oh, Memo is a big old cheese. Oh, no. No. I don't think so. I don't. I try not to be. I I got when I, when I was young, I got but, in trouble for that. But obviously that we do time. have those moments where you're like, where you call me and you're like, girl, and I'm and like, wait, 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 hold up, <laughs> because that pertains to us, right? <laughs> well, it doesn't, but what else? No, but like, it's funny because like, and I, and like, it's, it's it's almost as if you know, I know, because when I call you, you answer on speaker, and I hear both of you say, <laughs> "Hello, hey, girl," and, I'm, and and this is my my first word. Bitch. bitch and or you're all girl. what happened yeah <laughs> <laughs> and I, I do it because i'm gonna tell jovan anyway so i might as well I mean, just put him I'm, up right get rid of the middleman because i mean in the couples too like I, I am asking him like we we know everything because i'm not gonna hide something from jovan jovan's gonna know too so i can tell somebody huh? <laughs> and, and it's funny because like even, like i think that's in, uh, that's in every relationship because i remember when it was like with my ex like it was like oh and and who and like, he would sit there and ask like a million questions and oh and what about this and what about that and what did she say and what did he say and what did that say and what happened and da, da, da. Yeah. i'm like you should have been there you yeah. should not have left <laughs> fuck the the funny thing is like and they swear they're not you, if you know cheese me you have to keep track of who knows what because there are times when information is spilled later and oh there's that information spilled later yeah right so this person is telling you brand new information and you have to act surprised clutch my pearls what no what? it reminds me of that that scene from friends where anyways where lisa kudrow uh which is phoebe, phoebe she's she was being told information that she already knew i think it was about Ross. No, it was when, when Ross and Rachel hooked up. Right. Yeah. I think so. I saw that and episode. then they finally came out with it and she's like, oh my God, this is brand new information. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how you kind of have to act sometimes when you know something that was revealed later that that person didn't know you knew. And so I always err on the side of, on the side of caution. <gasps> so, like, I was like, I, I always err, I always act like I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I'd rather, like, to protect the gossiper. Right. <laughs> To protect the guilty. <laughs> the guilty party. So, like, I'll be like, what? No way, girl. Bitch, I know you already know. Like, they told me you knew. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, okay. I'm like, bitch, I, I'm, like, I go, I'm just showing you that I'm not the one that talks. Like, yeah. I don't spread it. I like, didn't spread it. I, I, it stayed here, and I I would rather, like, you know that I know rather than me hinting that, that I know. Yep. And giving away that I know what I know mm -hmm. that I'm not supposed to know. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. So, yeah. Um, 
I hate that I know exactly what you just said. <laughs> I understand everything you just said. Um, also, that thing where there's like <laughs> oh multiple threads, and you got to keep track of multiple. We're threads. so guilty. Of that. <laughs> so like, we have literally we I have say a, fifteen threads at least. <laughs> and so like, and then <laughs> I laugh because I named the threads right. Of course. <laughs> um, so like, we have like the the group thread. Mm-hmm. The we, cheese man on the side thread. And then we have <laughs> the, the, the other kid, the, the one that's called Low Key Shade. And then yeah. low, low Key Shade. So, like, Low Key Shade. Well, one member is like less. <laughs> uh, I was about to add, that. is that when you're removing one person? Yes. At a time? <laughs> so like, especially like, and then you know when it's really going to be gossip when, when they create a thread on Snapchat because it's going to go away. It's going to go away. <laughs> so, like, it, it's funny because, like, 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 even like between like, like cousins and shit, like, I have. My big cousin thread, right, with all all the all the girl cousins, uh-huh. and then there's the the threads with this cousin missing. There's a thread with this, this cousin <laughs> missing, and then there's the thread with just the, with with the missing cousin that I have with this one, or with that one, and it's mm-hmm. just like it's you it gotta gets, keep track of that shit. You gotta what keep if you track. posting the wrong one? I, and, and I did that's the whole fear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a big ass fear of mine. It is. It's hard to keep track. And then like we have like like even just us three, like you, Joel, and I, like we have a thread on. We have our thread on on iMessage. We have a thread on Messenger. We have Tags, a thread yeah. on Snapchat. Yeah. We have a thread on Instagram. <laughs> we have a thread on what else? Messenger, Messenger. yeah, Messenger, Facebook, and text, like an actual I'm, text thread. I, yeah, and like I'm just like like I'm, and then like there's be times where we're literally talking on two or three of these threads, and, like, and we're the same people, <laughs> and we're the same people, and like or like the one we have, we have with Dulce, like it's the yeah. four of us, and I'm just like. We're sending TicToks on the text the message. Text We're sending message. TikToks on Messenger. On We're the app TikToks. itself. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. On the app itself, I just yeah. it's too much. Okay. Um, my next question: Is there acceptable gossip? No. No. Well, yes. yes. It's circumstantial. Okay. Tell me what's what's good gossip. All right, what's first of all, gossip? gossip. In my opinion, uh, gossip starts as a. Just a transfer of information, especially within families. Like right. it turns into a hey, fulanita de tal se embarazó. Mm. It's kind of just letting the family know this is something okay. new with our family. Right. Then, then write it, a newsletter. Then it turns. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Then it turns into, into that kind of like toxic gossip. That, because like, they're like they're making oh, pero, like, conclusions about just right. the information. So do you remember growing up that game that we played called Telephone? Yeah. So like literally, when it always it, gets yep. construed. It always gets fucked up, and that's what happens with gossip. You may like rumors. Yeah. Gossip. Like 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 um like I may come and say like oh do you know like like so and so is um I don't like so and so is pregnant and so so cheated on this person with that person with the cousin or something like that. Whoa. Just a type of just a that type was of, very specific. <laughs> no, it's. Uh, but you're right. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, so like it's very like 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 like, like I'm like oh, like cousins you hear like and then like. And then, like, I'll, I'll end up hearing it again. And then it's, it like, made something its totally, like, <laughs> different. whoa. Like, that's not even what that's it not what was. I heard. Like, <laughs> what? Like, yeah. very that. So, like, 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 I think when you gossip, it's like you said, it's a transfer of information. And somewhere along the line, some shady-ass person yeah. will always misconstrue it or will always yeah. turn it or twist or it. Or turn it on That's purpose. why, like, me... For me. For me, I send screenshots. <laughs> I always kidding. keep my evidence. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my evidence. I take screenshots. Like, we have a conversation. If we had a conversation that can at some point come back and bite me in the ass, mm-hmm. no, sweetie, I have it right her. Uh-huh. So, I, if you date, like, I, they try to delete it, nope. I got it. Here's, here, here's what I have to say. Yeah. Well, the thing I was thinking about, like, acceptable gossip is, is like, if you know something that will help a relationship or mend a relationship because... The information is not getting to the right parties. Right. I think that's an acceptable time where you're like, let me just feed this information to a certain party to get the ball rolling. Mm-hmm. But only in the sense that you're trying to help a relationship, not. But uh, but even that can backfire it. sometimes. I mean, it could, but the I, I believe the intention behind it is 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 a good one. Uh, but do it's you have still an example? Gossip at the end, huh? Do you have an example? Because I'm kind of getting what you're saying. Like, I have say, an example. Let's say two two friends are mad at each other, right? And one, uh, someone hears that this friend is sorry or they're like trying to mend it, but they're too like hard headed to to mend it. Yeah. Feeding information to the other parties is like, so one person well, I know that you want to mend it. And I also know that you want to mend it. 
why don't I just like give orchestrate the information it. to the others and be like, well, I, what I heard is that they they want they, they miss you or they want to be friends again. So it's like in that sense, it's not gossiping to like break something up or or cause drama. It's like it's like gossiping to to mend. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, I I, I get that, but I think like or even within families too, like yeah. relationships there. Yeah, I don't know. Like like I. I'm, I guess I'm very jaded by by, by certain circumstances. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> do you don't know my life? Actually, I do. <laughs> I know Damn too it! Much. I, huh? I know too much. Okay. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I need to stop talking to you. I can't now. So <laughs> you know too much. <laughs> I know too much. <laughs> what happened? I have somebody on here. Christina. Christina. Christina what? what? Oh yes, hey girl. Says, what about work gossip? That's what I was oh, gonna bring up God. too. So Christina, uh, you're reading my Chris- mind, girl. You're reading my mind because Christina, I miss you. Work gossip is a whole other monster. So Christina and I used to work together back in the day. And y'all used to gossip. Yeah, like so. <laughs> we used- wait, wait. Before you do that, remember that that TikTok where it's like uh, somebody comes to another person at work and they're like, "Girl." Two bitches at work are talking shit, mad shit, and she's like, "Who? Who? Us, Us, bitch!" (laughs) I love that (laughs) because you always have you always have that work bitch that you can always gossip. But see, but I was always I was always bitch zero, and I had multiples. Like you you remember? So when I worked, so okay, so Christina and I is like I'm 37. So Christina and I literally worked together like 17 years ago. Like I was working at an insurance company. I was working at Liberty Mutual, and she worked there too. And sorry, I shouldn't have disclosed that, but whatever. <laughs> We've both moved on. It's been 20 years. Anyways, we um we used to work there. And so like I, that's that's where I picked up smoking. Christina. No, it wasn't her you, fault. It wasn't her fault. It wasn't her fault. Okay, it wasn't Christina. Okay. It was not Christina, let girl. Me, let me no, no, calm no, no, down. No, no, no. It wasn't Christina. <laughs> what happened? Which part? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it wasn't her fault. It wasn't her fault. So, like, I remember, like, we'd go outside. We'd go outside and we'd just, like, or go, and we, we would just gossip about other people on the, because it was a call center. Yeah. So, we would gossip about other people in the call center. And every now and then, like, if we'd, like, I'd be, like, if the, the call volume was dead or, or slow, mm-hmm. um, we would be, I'd stand up and just look around. And if me and her locked eyes, we'd look at each other and, and we'd like, just nod our head. <laughs> we knew, bitch, we're going outside. It's tea time. <laughs> I got tea. <laughs> and so, like, I was, I was, like, 19, 20 at the time. So, like, for me, like, I was a little bitch. Yeah, very that. <laughs> and so, like, I had multiple. Like, oh, my girl Christina, I love her. Um, and there was there was a couple other girls, like my girl Char. Uh, me, I love her. She's <laughs> big. I, I don't know if she watches, but Char, I love you. She's she's in Oregon now, living her best life, and I love seeing her pictures. Anyways, but her, she was one. Like, there was couples. Like, there's a couple people from fucking that that era. On my fucking Facebook, who till this day still remember. Mm-hmm. I got think one time I posted a picture and I was like, literally, I was drunk as fuck. My hair was all messy. Which is Stop. like almost every other Stop. picture you have yeah. at parties. Bitch. And like, I'm literally holding a cigarette and the picture all my bed. And then she's like, she, I remember I posted it and she posted a comment. She's like, if I had a fucking nickel for every time <laughs> you came into work looking like that, I was like, bitch, you'd be a She'd rich, be rich ass woman. <laughs> like, I kid you not. There would be times where I would, I would, I would have gone. From the club to, to work. work. To work. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Like, I'd show up at UPS even. I'm like, hello, early 20s. <laughs> Seriously. I'd show up to work at, at UPS, like, like to move boxes. Mm. I'm still wearing fucking my full gear, full, full gear outfit. Last like, I'm a little slurring. My boss is like, are you drunk? Yeah, I don't no. drink and drive. I didn't start drinking until I got here. What's she say? I love you. Uh, I love you too, girl. Because... You know that Danny and I used to work together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know. <laughs> I was going to get to that. You gossip because I literally sat in your office and gossiped <laughs> with yep. you. And uh, I wanted to get to that because uh, after I got promoted to shift leader, like, uh, so I had an office. And because I was second shift, all the higher ups would like go away. Five o'clock clocking out, I'm done. Mm-hmm. And so we had all afternoon. And so after the shift gets started and everything get going, uh, every once in a while, people had to drop things off in my office. And they would stay for like, Five to ten minutes, and that's where everything would flow to. Mm-hmm. Hey, and if so and so comes in here, tell her so and so. Okay, and so next person comes in, and it's just like a flow of information yeah. oh, coming in and out yeah. of that office. I, I that place because again, full of Latinos. <laughs> yes, was gossip fucking central, and I loved it because they would tell me everything. Yeah. Right, so if somebody needed to have some information, 
they know who to come yep. to. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? Like you said, like you talk about work gossip, like within the workplace, right? And so there's even like industry gossip. And so like in like, for example, like my background is in recruitment, right? Mm -hmm. So I know, like I know recruiters here and I recruiters there. And so like, and you'll ask like, you'll ask, hey, should I hire so, this person? So I hire this person. Like ah, that's an illegal practice. <laughs> I should not even say this. But it happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like even like, um, I'm not industry. Like I remember also when I, after, after, after Liberty, I worked for an insurance company, another insurance company with local offices. And I was, and I was one of the, what was one of the office managers. Mm -hmm. Like I had my own branch and I, we had our, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I remember every month at the manager's meetings, we'd be like, we'd be, it'd be, it'd be a, literally a cheese mess, a cheese mess session. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, bitch, what I'm dealing with with my girls over here. And like, I mean, there was some managers who were ruthless, mm -hmm. ruthless and talked so much shit about their girls. And I'm like, my girls are cool. Like I'm good. Yeah. Which like, is, it's so funny because these are people who are like, we need to we need to teach the policies, no gossiping, yeah. and they're the worst people. <laughs> no, no. You, want, you want you want what the worst part is? So like that, that I, for example, that insurance company I worked there like fucking ten years ago, right? That was that's when I left the insurance industry, and um, they're still there. In the same fucking position, doing the same, same thing. thing, and there's still the same people. I'm like, bitch, I know you. So, and, and again, you have to. And in the workforce, yeah, there's money involved. There is. So a lot of ego, a lot of like, I should have been hired, or I should have been promoted, it comes into effect too. Oh, yeah. So it's like becomes very vicious sometimes. And then that whole attitude of like, better you than me. Right. Bef be you before me. So, like, mm -hmm. if I'm going to throw anybody under the bus, I'm going to throw you under the bus before I get caught. Real up. quick. Real fucking quick. If you're going to fire yeah. me because of some, 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 I'm going to. I'm going to drag everybody. Sing like a canary, me. honey. Okay. I'm dragging <laughs> everybody. I'm dragging everybody down with me. I'm throwing names, <laughs> situations. Like, it's all going down. It's all going down. Absolutely. What about in the gay community? Girl, that's the worst. No, Ooh. well. No, it's so like, pretty bad. It bitch. is bad. It, it is, is bad. bad. So, like, I think that, okay, because, like, we have, so we have, like, all the sayings that go along with it. No tea, no shit, no, no pink lemonade. No shade. But at least we're up front about it. Most of the time. Most, most of the time. People. Most well, of the time. A lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 I think, I think that even happens. Like, it happens. It happens. It happens, it happens in every Because it happens, even happens in friendships. Like, we've talked about this. Like, uh -huh. like, I've vented about you guys to other, like, yeah. during, during, during Gates. Uh -huh. Especially during gates. <laughs> so we have a we have a thing <laughs> where if there's like a drama or like something happened, you know how Watergate was a scandal. Yeah. So every time we have a situation, we have a situation, we, we call it blank gate. Gate. So, so like, for example, Memo had a spaghetti gate <laughs> where he baked a spaghetti one night. We were late. And he was a total bitch. <laughs> and we were like, well, bit. you're making it uncomfortable, so we're leaving. And he's like, okay. okay. <laughs> and then we're like, okay. The, we left. He was so pissy because I no was... one came on time to eat his little spaghetti. So we called it Spaghetti Gate. <laughs> yes. First of all, he baked a spaghetti? Oh, no. He, he made I spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> okay. That threw me off so much. Like, I, I mean, well, I you also, can bake it. You can, but you can bake it because like, I have a thing where I put like, like Parmesan casserole. cheese on top and then I put like like like, like oh, it's a, well, I mean, You, you uh -huh. can finish it. it. In the oven. Yeah. yeah. Just to finish it. Yeah. Not like, like, just Not to give it like a look. Yeah. Um. Or like feelings gate. Feelings gate. No, that was think. No, wait, that was invite gate. Invite. Gate. It was invite gate. So, <laughs> see what happened was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I was moving out of the house, right? And so I it just so happened that one of my roommates was dating one of our friends. Uh -huh. And so we finished. Everybody finished moving because we were everybody who I, I had two, I had three roommates in that house, and we were all going our separate uh -huh. ways. And pe and so we we finally everybody got done moving. So it just so happened that. I was with my boyfriend at the time. We were like, mm -hmm. I finally, we're done. Let's go have dinner. Yeah. So we showed up at Bliss. Uh -huh. We showed up at Bliss to have a date night after moving. Like, who went to dinner? Mm -hmm. And it just so happened, bitch. I swear to God. Mm -hmm. but what? Yeah. That our other friend and his boyfriend showed up. Uh -huh. And then, you know, Eric is everywhere. Uh -huh. And Eric showed up. Right, right. And so we just, it was literally a run-in. And uh -huh. so we ended up hanging out. And we posted a picture like, oh, look, mm -hmm. we were having a, this one. <laughs> this one. This one right here was in his feelings. We get the text message, and every gay should know how, when when a message starts with this line, you already know it's gonna be a shit show. Sorry, I hit the mic. I just think it's funny. <laughs> hey, I like, and I told him. <laughs> We get the text message. I just think it's funny 
that you all decided to go out and not invite me. And I'm just like, oh my. And I, we, we, we and Eduardo look at each other we're like, fuck. I think you got it wrong, by the, by the way. You got it wrong. How? It wasn't a text. It was a notification from Facebook telling you that I canceled Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. It was that. And we're like, what the fuck? And then you got, we're like, girl, what's up? Then you're like, if that's when you said, I just think it's funny mm-hmm. that we're going to about to celebrate Friendsgiving <laughs> and our friends can't give an invite. Like, it was But, very, but it imagine was, my side. Imagine my side. Fuck your side. I am, it, you were, you I were am at home collecting. on a Friday night and I see a, a picture of the Friends group that Without you. We're supposed to be really close without me and Joe Biden. I, I, okay. Tell me, if that was you, you wouldn't be able to be like, mm. Como like, dice el dicho, no hagas cosas buenas que parezcan malas. Exactly. So it, it's like, don't do good things that look bad. Right. I get that. And, and I get that. And, and your perception is your reality. Mm. It, it's not true. It's fucking deluded. You're calling it's... me deluded and delusional? <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Honey. <it's> your perception. <laughs> and that was your fucked up reality. But anyways, I digress. No. So that was that was one gate. What other we've had we've had cabin gate, cabin we've gate. had wicker gate. <laughs> <laughs> wicker gate. Yeah. Nobody we can talk about no, that. We can't talk why about not? That. Nobody knows what was in it. So why not? I approve. Okay. Do it. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna say names. We're no just names, no, no names. The three of us were there. Yeah. So we had did we had see, we we did a cabin trip, right? And it was like like 16 of us. Yeah, a lot of us. There was 16 of us in a cabin, like, and it was, it was a shit show. Like, there was fights uh, between people. I wanted to stab somebody. People I were almost did doing each other. People who were doing each mm-hmm. other. And so we wake up. I think it was the last morning we wake up, and we had there was so much to drink, right? There was a lot to drink. There was a lot of liquor. There was more liquor than food. It was my early 20s. Your late 20s. Yeah, this was literally like fucking nine years ago. Yeah. Eight, eight years ago. Yeah. Anyways, we wake up and everybody's starting to, you know, get their shit together, get like ready. A, well, there was like a sunroom in the front. So like you walked into this cabin. It was a double cabin. It was it was like two cabins that there was a wall torn down in the middle. Because it was two one, kitchens. Into one big one. Into yeah. one big one. So you walk into this mud room, right? And there was two wicker chairs. And then you walk into the next room and it was a living room, living room kitchen. Room, yeah. Kitchen. And it, 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 the maze went on from there. Yeah. In that mud room, there was two wicker chairs. Well, next thing you know, we hear screaming coming from downstairs as we're all packing our bags. Like, what the fuck is going on down there? Somebody took a shit on the wicker chair. Wow. <laughs> I kid you not, there was a cerote. <laughs> and on nobody would claim chair. it. And nobody <laughs> claimed it. Nobody. Nobody claimed it. So and, to this day, we do not know who did it. Who took Though we shit. suspect... We but we do not, fact, we but we no do not know who took a shit on the wicker chair. <laughs> so, so it's call called it wicker, wicker gate. <laughs> so everybody, every so so it, it, the cabin trip is something that we we do every year, right? And 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 the 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 circle that goes has has kind of changed throughout the mm-hmm. years, and people are added, people stop going. Yeah. It is what it is. We think there's there's yeah. like five of us that are consistent, four or five yeah. of us are consistent. We get there every time we see every time we get to the cabin and we see a wicker chair. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, no, it, no it's one's taking shit on this wicker chair. <laughs> There's a wicker chair. Nobody take a shit on the wicker chair. <laughs> like, it's literally very oh. fucking that. And because that last night, we were playing King's Cup. Mm-hmm. So everybody got shit face drunk. Like, fuck that. Full bar. Fucked up beyond all recognition. And somebody took a shit on the wicker chair. Yep. I loved it. It was <laughs> it was fantastic. Uh, so, else? yeah. Um, and I want to see, I want to talk about, like, where it comes from. Okay. Obviously, we talked about it. So it comes from the culture, but it can also come from, like, TV and it can also, movies and, and and I think a lot of it is also self. So I think a lot of times we're so bored with our lives that we'll just spread anything just to have something very, to do. Very true. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I think that especially like when it doesn't involve us, we just it's, it gives us oh I have to call so and so to talk, tell them because like in some people there you go. <laughs> some people feed off of it, right? Some people will literally well, I think like he live made a really off good of point. it. Danny was like, you have this power when yeah. you know something that no no one else knows. Yeah. So I think it's again back to human nature. I think yeah. knowing something and having like a little bit of power in your and and now here, here's the thing with that power though is that when someone knows that you know something, 
and you haven't said that also opens up the door like hey i can tell him stuff trust this person and yeah. so and 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 that that is that is to me more important that people can tell me stuff yeah and it is just like you said it's just the need to know information i've always wanted to be a smart guy i like reading i like that yeah. but just knowing things about people is just also just like no is really yeah something that people want i think everybody wants it a little bit I, I, here's the thing i think that as as i think as 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 a race as a species we all want to be the big dog mm -hmm. everybody wants to be to an extent everybody wants a piece of being an alpha right and i think that like you said information is power mm -hmm. and because you have a little bit of power it makes you feel that much more important it makes you feel like you're that much more of an alpha if that makes right. sense that makes sense and so that's why like to me it is human nature because it, like you said it's power so i have this power over you because i know something i know something i know what you did last exactly. summer yeah. um one of my last questions is okay do we pass it on? Is it something we can help? Because no. you know kids watch their parents and yeah. emulate, right? Absolutely. So I just don't... I th I think we can make an effort to not do it in front of them. Right. But I feel like but it's going to come out. But I feel like our family... like For, for me. My family, for me. <laughs> for me. Hey, Tracy. Um, she loves when I say that. Um, for me. Talk. Where was I going? Oh, so I remember like growing up. Yo, pues yo, yo, ahí, you know, muy, 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 muy chismosito, así, muy, muy jotito. I said it. Okay. Um, I, uh, no, there was a word that I heard today. Está jotoleando. Todo el mundo está jotoleando. I was fucking weak. No, it was a TikTok. Y está, me pregunto, oye, dice, pues está, está, este, pinche chamaco dice, está, está diciendo, oye, ¿por qué esos hombres están pintando y poniendo maquillaje? A ti que te valga verga, todo el mundo aquí está jotoleando. I was, dead. I was fucking dead. But anyway, so I remember being in the house and like trying to, no me pendejo, like, oh, I'm going to get water, I'm going to get a soda, oh, I'm going to get otro, like, hot dog or whatever. Y en escuchando. And then my family's from Sinaloa, so we're mal hablados, mm -hmm. right? So I remember, ya vete la verga para afuera con los plebes. Like, yeah. they, they, that, estamos hablando de los grandes. No te metas en la plática de los grandes. Right. And that's, that's, that's our culture's way of trying to get rid of the kids, not doing it in front of the kids. Exactly. But, it, but I, I don't think, but now that I'm, as, as I'm saying it, I feel like it's not my culture. It's not our culture trying to, um, trying to, uh, for us not to hear it. Mm -hmm. I think it's our culture trying to say, no, porque esos cabrones van a ir a hablar también. Because, that. como dicen, como dicen, el borracho y un niño siempre dicen la verdad. And because you're guilty of it. As kids, um, I, as kids, like, and then we have this innocence of, like, correcting our parents, mm -hmm. right? Ma, usted no dijo eso, usted la otra noche, usted la otra noche dijo que mi tía era una puta. Like, 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 like again, family. Family. Those of you that watch, my mom never said that. <laughs> Disclosure. <laughs> this, this is an example. This is an example. This is just an example. I was just watching TikToks where <laughs> it was about the black community and yeah. little kids that that go around and they're just like, or in school they they'll tell their teacher like, my mama um, puts sugar up her nose, and the teacher's like, <laughs> <laughs> or my daddy. I haven't seen my daddy in like three years. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I I think it's fucking hilarious because it happens oh. and it's true. Those kids are like. Tell the truth because they, they don't know. Do. They don't know. They're, they're, they don't know to. Hide they're naive. Yeah, they're yeah, naive. So, yeah, you're right. No tiene malicia. Yeah, they're yeah, gonna yeah. go out and be telling the the truth. That's what it is. No yeah. quiero que me agarren la mentira porque ese cabrón me va a decir. <laughs> That's or like the thing where they're like, oh yeah, he he's under twelve. No, I'm not. Mom, I'm 14. Remember the, <laughs> yeah, time, the, the free meal? <laughs> Tienes siete años, cabrón. Kids Mom, I'm free. 17. <laughs> Why do I? They're like, oh my son, he's only seven. Why does he have a full mustache? <laughs> What you calling me a liar? Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. very that. Oh my god! <laughs> and, and it's so funny because like these anecdotes, and I think they're anecdotes because these are stories that you yeah. pass on, like for real. And, and, and it, uh, it, it, I think it unifies the community because we all have the same story. Yeah, especially it the, all the time. Yeah. Especially like the the Latino community because todos todos tienen esa tía la que es más comadre que cualquiera. They all have the experience of like the chancla, el cinto. Like yeah. they, we have this shared experience that just transcends the the community. Like, yeah. In every level. Uh, yeah, that and uh, when they wash your mouth out with soap. Did you ever have your mouth washed All out with the soap? fucking time. My brothers did. I did not. I Yo era más hablado de todos. I never. I, I thought that was more like an American thing. No. No. Oh, no. Oh. I had fucking palm olive in my mouth. <gasps> wow. <laughs> yeah, there was a couple of times where I literally had. My, my mom did it to me like twice. And We're going to call CPS right now. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years too late. 30 years too late, bitch. I think that was like seven.
And my grandma went, went to, well, I think I told the story. I was in, I was in Mexico and I was playing with one of my little friends. And he go, I don't know what we were saying. I go, I go, I, go, I, I forget what, I forget what we were playing. I go, and I told him, I go, Tú un bregazo. and then like, my grandma's like, ¿Qué chingados dijiste, hijo de la verga? <laughs> <laughs> Ven para acá. And she literally, and, it, and at that, where we were staying at la casa, like we had a lavadero in the backyard, right? And you know, the lavaderos. Mm-hmm. Y ella me tenía el chongo, like, like, de la greña, sin fucking pinche jabón ariel en la yeah. boca, and shit like that. Like, oh, the it's very, fuck? like, do as I say, not as I do. It, it's very, that, that's our culture. <laughs> yeah. Our culture is do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I just, I thought it was an interesting subject. I love this. This because is fun. It, it's, it happens. Everybody does it. If yeah. someone tells you, know, you, oh, I don't do that. Speaking on that, I, lying. we got another comment here from Dulce saying, and I can attest because I've seen it happen yeah. firsthand. Used to work, uh, she says, I used to work at a construction company and they have more chisme que una clinica with all the girls. <laughs> yes, it's so true though. Es que los hombres sí son, like, es por eso te digo, like, los hombres sí son más comadres que las mujeres. Bueno, son igual de comadres Iguales, que las mujeres. Yeah. Porque les encanta el chisme. I love it. I love it. Seriously. <laughs> so anyways, thank you so much for commenting. Uh, Christina, if you're watching, Christina, Dulce, Dulce, and everybody. Dulce, love yeah. it, love it. I, this was fun. <laughs> this I, was fun. I, I love this. Yeah. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a good subject because we, everybody does it. We all know we do it. And I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. <laughs> we could try. Just Girl. don't be, don't be vicious and like vindictive about gossip. I only spread information that uplifts. Your legs. <laughs> <laughs> bish, I witch. I, I bish, witch? Bish, I said bish, I witch. I bitch, witch, I bitch. wish. I am... Um, a virgin again. You're a beacon. It's been two months of virginity. It's been since Miami. Oh, Seattle. Anyways, yeah, onto sorry. more palatable subject. <laughs> <laughs> you hungry, girl? Uh, hungry, yes. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for joining us for show fifteen. Our quince. Our quinceanera. Please give send because that's where a lot of the, the cheese happens. That like quinceanera <laughs> yes. started. Uh, but yeah, again. Again, so please come to the show on the 31st of July. Yes, Hey Bitch Live at, at Los Sombreros in, Me- in Mesa. Um, it's on our socials. We are, you know, we're spreading it like fire mm. or like his herpes. Yep. Um, <laughs> I can't do it. But anyways, come to the show. Come see this live. It'll be a different show if you've already been there. It'll be there. fun. It'll be It'll a lot be... of fun. We're planning to have a lot of fun with it. Come have some amazing food at Los Sombreros. And drinks. The food. food if special, anything, If you come special. for anything, come for the food because it is bomb. It is bomb. Um, uh, drink socials. special socials. We are on Instagram at uh, Hey Betch the Pod. We mm-hmm. are on Facebook as please tell me Daniel Reno. No, so, on, well, yeah, you are. Yeah, uh, Daniel. I said that. Oh, okay. Uh, Val- Memo Valmor, Memo Valmor, and we are on. Well, the show on Facebook as Hey Betch hey the, the Podcast, and then on socials is regard. Well, duh. on Instagram <laughs> we are. Uh, Instagram, I am Dangaz eighty six. Dang AZ86. Dang with the D A N G. Like dang is dang. Dang as. Dang as. Stop. You're trying to make, the, got, you're trying to make fetch happen, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I am Insta underscore memo mem, and we are happy to be with you guys. This is, I think I, I'm enjoying the live yeah, a little bit more. Me too. I think it's fun. I think we're. I think we're, we're maybe going to continue this. So we'll I'll, see. Yeah. If, um, if our producer lets us. If like, he, you're if he likes Friday that. night. Um, um, last thing. We'll have a talk. Your gay obsession. My gay obsession. Oh, my God. I had really had a good one the other day. My gay obsession while you're thinking about it. Yeah, that, go ahead. Uh, another song okay. by Madison Beer called Selfish. I haven't heard it. Jovan is probably fucking tired of me fucking repeating it over and over, but I fucking love it. So mm-hmm. get over it. What's your gay obsession? Well, if it's a song you already know. Another J-Lo song. Huh? It's the one that's A Cambio El Paso by Jennifer Lopez. I love it. It's, it's everything. Um, but my gay obsession for right now <laughs> is me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no. Um, Movie, <sighs> show. No, the, 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 my right now, I'm, I'm, I'm really obsessed with what I'm doing with the league right now. So like we're planning our next season. Gay. Sports. Gay sports. Yeah. So like, you know, we all know that I play, you know, I'm part of the gay flag football league here in in Phoenix. And right now we're planning our very next season. And I'm actually really excited because I'm redoing their website. I took it down to redo it yeah. and I took it too far down. So I'm, I'm, I'm I, yeah, I, I basically <laughs> deleted the whole fucking thing when I was just supposed to make edits. <laughs> so no, like I'm working on rebuilding, like okay. it's already in the works. So like, it'll be up soon, but like I'm, I'm, I'm having fun redoing a lot of that yeah. and 
and that's that's my game and right now and yeah that's my game obsession right now is the league all right cool well again thank you for joining us betches thank you betches we'll see you next time see you next week bye hey bitch is part of the fuerte arts network the thoughts and opinions on this show are our own and do not necessarily reflect those of the fuerte arts movement